Welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope you're all enjoying the No Man's Sky Desolation update. I am, but one of the questions that I have is can we farm those freighters for a profit? In a previous video I stated that I didn't think it was possible and breaking even might even be a challenge. So I went and got two of the coordinates, I went and explored two of those freighters, and let's do the math and see if we come out ahead at the end. If this is your first time at my channel, a like and a sub would be very much appreciated and stay tuned for the results. So firstly, let's talk about the parameters. I bought two of the coordinates, which made it pretty expensive. It was 15 million to buy two of those coordinates. So that's gonna cut into my profits there too. So keep that in mind. And if I were to have bought a third, it would have been another 20 million for that third coordinate, which is gonna make the endeavor impossible to make a profit on. Secondly, is one of the freighters didn't have one of the artifacts, which that can help make up a huge difference. Uh, one of the artifacts I found was worth nearly like 1.7 million. So that makes a difference too. Um, thirdly is I searched every crate. There wasn't anything that I missed, but I'm a human being. I could have made a mistake and missed one, but I don't think I did. So I guess what that really boils down to is your experience could differ. You could find different things in these freighters. So we're gonna get into the actual numbers here. So what were the units that I had at the beginning and at the end? So here's the graphics. I started at 2.9 billion. I spent 15 million. After I sold my salvage, I ended up with a net loss of 2,938,863. So on a unit standard, this proves that if you buy two of those coordinates and you search everything and have the same results as me, you're in the negative. Now nanites, I started at 17,157, ended at 22,370, so I had a net gain of 5,213. And it's hard to put a price on nanites, so there's another thing that we have to look at. Is it worth it on the nanite side? Now let's take a look at our physical gains, the things we're going to use later on in the game. So that's two bulkhead mods, three frigate mods, and three repair kits. So you. Can you put a price on those things? Well, you can see what you could resell them for at a station, but there's really no way to put a price on those. So once again, it's up to you to decide whether or not that was worth it. So for those of you who are interested in exactly what I got, uh, I got about two minutes of footage here of me selling everything that I found in the freighters. Um, the prices, now some, this is another factor too, some of the demand prices can be 5, 10, 15%, so that's going to differ for you as far as which space station you go to to sell some of your salvaged items that you find. So bear that in mind. This is not an exact science. So stay tuned for the rest of the video here. It's going to show everything that I got and the prices that I received. I'll also have my outro and some final thoughts, and I appreciate you guys stopping by. So was it worth it? 
Well, by unit standards, no, we were down 3 million. But if you look at the tangible rewards, like the frigate mods, like the bulkhead mods, like the repair kits, like the nanites, maybe it was, and that's for you to decide. The big thing, the takeaway here is, no Man's Sky is an exploration game. You're not always going to come out ahead. You've got to take the intangibles. What was the fun factor? And I had a lot of fun exploring these haunted freighters. It was, it was a good time. It was enjoyable. Would like to state that everyone who watches my videos, I appreciate it so much. A like and a sub if the video was helpful. And we will catch you guys next time.